Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for SpaceX's next masterpiece, the highly anticipated third generation Marvel of the Raptor family, Raptor 3, to make its grand debut. Looks amazing, right? This marks a significant milestone in SpaceX's development. Even more exciting, none other than SpaceX's founder Elon Musk himself has revealed the first images of this version, along with some astonishing revelations. So, what did Elon Musk reveal? How will Raptor 3 impact SpaceX and the aerospace industry? Let's delve into these details right now on today's episode of Great SpaceX. It can be said that after four integrated flights with significant strides, everyone has been eagerly anticipating major changes with Starship. Over the past year, we've seen specific developments in the production system, the test system, the launch system, and the new version of Starship. The last piece of the puzzle we've been waiting for is the new engine version, the Raptor 3. The anticipation for Raptor 3 has been immense because unlike other systems, Raptor 3 was first leaked from tests in mid-2022. Since then, Elon Musk has continuously teased Raptor 3 in many company talks. I often found myself shouting, SHOW IT TO US ALREADY! And it seems... Elon Musk heard my cries. On August 2nd, Musk unveiled the first image of Raptor 3 on X with the caption, Raptor 3 SN1. To mark this important event, Musk even changed the cover image on his X page, featuring Raptor 3 standing in the middle flanked by Raptor 1 and 2. As the tweet revealed, the engine proudly displays the notable number 1. Number 1 signifies a new beginning. Please respond with your own number one in the comment section down below to celebrate this meaningful milestone. Next, let's discuss what you're probably most interested in, the design. It looks extremely neat and simple, yet it implies a huge power behind the black covers. In fact, it matches the image that SpaceX revealed before. Musk described it as truly a work of art. Even everyday astronaut expressed his awe, saying, This is absolutely absurd engineering to simplify an engine down like this. So how did SpaceX upgrade their monster? In the same tweet, Musk explained, The amount of work required to simplify the Raptor engine, internalize secondary flow paths, and add regenerative cooling for exposed components was staggering. Visually, we can see that the small systems on version 1 or version 2 have almost disappeared. Only a few small sturdy pipes remain combined with large, highly unified systems. This indicates that complex and vulnerable systems have been eliminated or integrated altogether, thereby reducing many risks. When the systems have been integrated, SpaceX has chosen welding instead of screw or flange systems. This was mentioned by Musk recently in an interview with Everyday Astronaut. Welding helps unify the engine systems, avoiding many errors during operation. Musk also revealed that many parts are 3D metal printed into the wall of the part. Thanks to this approach, Raptor 3 features an upgraded cooling system. This system helps reduce the heat and pressure generated by the engine's thrust. This upgrade provides another significant advantage. Musk added, as a result, Raptor 3 doesn't require any heat shield, eliminating heat shield mass and complexity, as well as the fire suppression system. In a tweet responding to Everyday Astronaut, Musk reiterated, and it no longer requires a heat shield. Everything is regeneratively cooled. In previous versions, the heat shield was essential due to the presence of many vulnerable systems. However, it could not completely protect the engine, as evidenced by the damage to super heavy engines in all four flights. Additionally, the heat shield added to the rocket's overall mass. With its removal, SpaceX demonstrates extreme confidence in the new design, ensuring that the engines are robust enough to withstand the harsh conditions of flight and testing. This change also aligns with SpaceX's plan to optimize its rockets by reducing mass. Reducing the mass is a significant improvement, but many are eagerly awaiting the increased power of Raptor 3. Musk confirmed this in his tweet. Musk confirmed this in his tweet. It is also lighter, has more thrust, and has higher efficiency than Raptor 2. SpaceX subsequently posted additional tweets to compare the specifications of all three Raptor versions. To provide some context, let's revisit the test that took place in the middle of last year. Musk later revealed the test results, which included impressive numbers. Specifically, Raptor 3 achieved 269 tons or 593,000 pounds of thrust. 
This would enable Super Heavy, equipped with 33 Raptor engines, to reach a total thrust of 8,877 tons, or a little bit over 19.5 million pounds. Furthermore, Raptor 3 achieved a chamber pressure of up to 350 bar, surpassing every other engine in existence. This number clearly surpasses the thrust capabilities of Raptor 1 and the current Raptor 2. According to SpaceX's tweet, Raptor 1 generates 185 tons of thrust, which, with a specific impulse of 350 seconds, weighing 2.08 tons, and the combined engine and vehicle side commodities and hardware mass, is 3,630 kilograms. On the other hand, Raptor 3 achieves 230 tons of thrust at sea level and 259 tons in a vacuum with a specific impulse of 347 seconds, weighing in at 1.63 tons, 63 tons, and the combined engine and vehicle side commodities as well as hardware mass is a total of 2,875 kilograms. This gives Super Heavy a maximum thrust of 7,590 tons or 16.7 million pounds and 1,464 tons for the ship. Currently, Starship's liftoff thrust is already double that of the Saturn V, and with the introduction of Raptor 3, those figures will become even more impressive. However, in an April presentation, Musk surprised everyone by revealing that Raptor 3 has different parameters compared to last year's test results. Specifically, in the presentation slide, Raptor 3 was introduced with a thrust of up to 280 tons at sea level and 306 tons in a vacuum. SpaceX's recent tweet also pointed out a specific impulse of 350 seconds, a weight of 1.525 tons, and an engine and a combined engine and vehicle side commodities and hardware mass of 1,720 kilos. With that thrust, Super Heavy with 33 engines can reach a maximum thrust of 9,240 tons or 20.37 million pounds. As for the ship, it can reach 1,758 tons or 3.88 million pounds, maintaining its position as the most powerful spacecraft. However, this may not be enough to satisfy SpaceX engineers who aim to upgrade this version even more. Musk stated, The fundamental architecture is now right, but we will still make thousands of improvements. Are you interested in this? If so, comment Let's Go Raptor 3 down below. Then, while you're at it, like the video, share it, and subscribe to our channel, please, to continue following SpaceX's development journey especially in regards to Raptor 3. The appearance of Raptor 3 will open up many prospects for SpaceX's Starship in the coming period. Firstly, it will significantly increase the production speed. Over six years ago, SpaceX started producing Raptor 1 in February of 2018. By July of 2021, after more than three years, they had produced 100 Raptor 1 engines, averaging about 11 days per engine. From the end of 2021, they switched to producing Raptor 2. By the end of 2022, they had produced 200 Raptor 2 engines, which equates to about two days per engine, a significant improvement. NASA officials then revealed that SpaceX only takes one day per engine. Now, with the introduction of Raptor 3, we can expect further breakthroughs. Its simplified design will likely enable SpaceX to produce multiple engines per day. Additionally, the upcoming Star Factory will further enhance production capabilities, pushing engine production to unprecedented levels and overwhelming all other competitors. Given the promising start with the first Raptor 3 engine, let's predict how many Raptor 3 engines will be produced within the next year. In the aerospace industry right now, rocket engines are continuously emerging, but perhaps none of them can achieve the capabilities of Raptor 3. A notable example is Blue Origin's BE-4, another methane engine. It is known for its complexity and slow production speed. We had to wait many years to see it in action at the Vulcan debut flight earlier this year. Not only has it lagged behind the Raptor in terms of production speed, but the last point of pride for the BE-4 engine over the Raptor engine, its separate thrust, will also be overshadowed by the release of the Raptor 3. The release of the Raptor 3 is extremely compatible with the development pace of Starship version 2. As Elon Musk described, Starship V2 will likely utilize Raptor 3. This combination will soon become a reality, as Musk revealed that there will be six V2 prototypes this year. Raptor 3 will make the release of V2 even more anticipated. However, 
Raptor 3 and V2 are probably just intermediate stages towards a final version. Musk mentioned their goal is to enable Raptor to reach 330 tons of thrust. This would help Starship achieve a liftoff thrust of more than 10,000 tons, or around 24 million pounds. This was confirmed in the FAA's Starship Florida Environmental Impact Statement last month and the recent FAA Draft Tiered Environmental Assessment for Starship at Starbase Texas. According to these documents, the upgraded Starships are expected to achieve over 10,000 tons of thrust. This will define the future of SpaceX and the aerospace industry. However, before reaching those milestones, Raptor 3 will remain central to the upcoming developments. With its immense thrust, simplified design, and enhanced reliability, Raptor 3 stands out as a significant advancement. As SpaceX ramps up its Starship activities, Raptor 3 will play a crucial role. The industry will be watching closely to see how SpaceX leverages this new engine to drive innovation and impact the aerospace sector. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.